Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with the free pick in the Twins at White Sox Major League Baseball matchup on Wednesday, July the 10th, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Use the discount code PICK, get 15% off. We also have products meant for people that make bigger bets, people with big bankrolls, looking for that VIP concierge style service. We offer these products. They're just not available on the website. Easy to get. You just got to text the number. But keep in mind, these are our most expensive premium products, meaning, you know, this is our high end stuff. We have our regular premium picks at the website. I bet mine every day, as well as free picks here on YouTube, as well as on the website. But these are our high end products, not a free trial or free pick line. But let's get to this one. It's the White Sox hosting the Twins. Simeon Woods Richardson on the mound here for the Twins. And it is Th- Drew Thorpe on the mound for the White Sox. Woods Richardson has been pretty solid over the course of the season, mid three ERA. And, uh, you know, the thing about him is is that earlier this year, uh, he was really only going into the four innings, four and and a third, four and two thirds. And he really wasn't even making it out of there. But recently, over his last four starts, he has been stretched out and has gone at least five innings, if not six, in in his last four starts. And the thing is, he hasn't really been giving up big time damage in those either. Of course, he's not shutting teams down either. 3.48 ERA on the season, allowing 63 hits over 77 and two thirds innings of work, 23 walks and eight home runs. Um, Not bad numbers at all on 64 strikeouts. Over his last three starts though, as they've stretched him out, it does become a 4.24 ERA over those last three. Drew Thorpe is kind of everything he was billed to be. His ERA is a little to the higher side than what it actually, you know, his performance on the field, kind of his body of work, because he has one really bad outing and he's only pitched five games. He allowed eight runs uh, in his second start of his career. That was against Arizona in just three and a third innings of work. But outside of that, he has been very, very solid. And, you know, I say this every time. But Drew Thorpe has been involved in two of the biggest trades of the last year in the Soto trade from the Padres to the Yankees. He was the central figure that the Padres got back. And then he was the guy the Padres traded to get Dylan Cease from the White Sox. He's allowed 16 hits in 26 and two-thirds innings of work. But remember, of those 16 hits... Uh, almost half of those came in that one game against the D-backs. He's allowed 11 earned runs. Eight of those came in that game against the Diamondbacks. And, uh, of course, 18 strikeouts, two home runs allowed, and 14 walks. So a little high to the walk side. But um, still, you know, he's a young pitcher, and he certainly is everything he was billed to be. In his last three starts, a 1.47 ERA, and I believe that is about right for what we've seen. The Twins have dominated the White Sox in in recent uh, meetings, you know, winning 21 of the last 28 meetings. So 75% of the time, the Twins have won. But I do believe that the White Sox do have the edge on the mound in this one. The Twins have been hitting the cover off the ball, 311 versus right-handed pitching. 246 for the White Sox versus right-handed pitching when looking at a subset of their last 10 games. And the White Sox bullpen at 5.03 ERA, while the Twins at 3.15. But I do believe you got a day game here on the south side. I think with Thorpe going on the mound, I think the White Sox probably stopped the bleeding here. I'm going to take the White Sox, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.